question many times and I think about the teachers that I had but there's not one that really inspired me to perform above and beyond the norm for me and about in 1980 a little short ugly grey haired freckle faced bloke with the funniest leg you've ever seen decided he's had industry and decided he would venture into TAFE and decided he would be the best teacher in his trade. It's a strange time to learn to go back to work and study, to learn to compete against a classroom of other, <coughs> uh, uh, other people from industry. Very difficult for this little short, ugly, grey-haired, freckle-faced bloke with the funny legs. And at the conclusion, of course, this guy grew about two metres from the pressure of the study that we acquired. <coughs> that happens to be my story. And I tried to be the best teacher I could. My greatest fear was that the students would say, oh, that Max, he's a terrible teacher. He doesn't know anything he's talking about. So, the thought, my story goes about the, the greatest teacher. But sometimes we are our own greatest teacher, aren't we? We have the ability to be able to inspire other people. We can learn from ourselves, we can learn from someone else. But to inspire others to do their best, that's really great. That's my opinion. Raymond, the question is, the greatest teacher, the greatest teacher, Raymond Knopf. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Well, the greatest teacher, that uh, is a broad subject indeed. One might first think that you would think first about that kindergarten teacher and how it was when they showed you all those lovely toys and what a great time that was. And maybe it was that teacher that when you went to a, a primary school and they did those maths tables one after the other down week after week until you had them off, off, off tap. <laughs> or maybe it was when you got to high school and they taught you all those wonderful things about science and physics and how all that came together. I used to think that they were all great people who gave me great learning. But then I thought much later, actually, once I got about 21, 22, I'd come back my travels, one does. They go to India and uh, Europe. <coughs> and then I discovered my silly parents and how dumb they were when I was young, growing up, learning all those great things from all my peers and the school teachers at our school. I then discovered what smart parents that I, I had. They weren't those dumb people anymore. I, it was wonderful how much they had learned while I was learning over in Europe. The greatest teacher I found was my mum. And I still learn from her now when she's 89. And she comes out with all these great things now that, that I now have passed on to my children. I think with all the people and all the experiences that we have in life, 
There's no greater teacher than our mum. Mandy, the question is, the greatest teacher, the greatest teacher, Mandy C. Thank you, Mr. Tabletop X Master, distinguished guests, judges, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest teacher. There was once a teacher I knew who was really rude towards me. She never gave me inspiration. She never encouraged me. But yet, I consider her as the greatest teacher. She was my high school further math further mathematics teacher. And what she did was that she told me straight, she didn't, okay, she didn't tell me, she told me straight to my mom that this girl would never do math. There's no point wasting your life, your money on her, because she'll never do math. She'll never, never excel in math. But yet, I like, because I like math, math, mathematics so much, I continued to do math. And I defied all her. I defied her and just went on to do. So I dropped out of school. I came to Australia. And I continued and I did a degree in math. So <laughs> today, I told one of my friends that, oh, do you remember Mrs. Khan? She, she, once told that my, she once told my mom that I would never do well in math. And my friend said, do you know what you go? Do you know what you should do? You should go up to her right now and say, in your face. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and I do consider her as the greatest teacher, even though she didn't encourage me because I wanted to prove her wrong, and that's what I think matters the most. Thank you. David, the question is the greatest teacher, the greatest teacher, David Clan. Good evening, Mr. Table Topics Leader, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Sit back, relax, and be glad you're here, ladies and gentlemen. I do not pretend to be the greatest teacher, heavens no, but I do pretend to be an expert on the subject. <laughs> now, when I read a little bit more about it, I will be an expert on the subject, so I'll come back and tell you from an authoritative point of view. But until then, we'll just have to make do with what we have. And what do we have? Can there be one greatest teacher, ladies and gentlemen? Is that a possibility? Personally, I don't think that this can be the case. And the reason is, we are all different. Every single person in this room thinks differently, feels differently, heart aches for different things, different goals, different aspirations. Can we possibly be so simply minded that we all fall under one umbrella? The fact is, there are probably just as many umbrellas as there are people here. And just as many umbrellas again as there are people in this world. Those who have lived, those who are living, and those who are yet to live. I think for each of us, we would each have a different opinion of who is the greatest teacher. And let us go forward boldly, in our own minds, set with our own ideals, that we have the greatest teacher for us, but that's not necessarily the greatest teacher for the next person, or the next person, or the next. We all have our own greatest teacher, ladies and gentlemen. I have mine, you have yours. And to us, they are the greatest teacher. Mr. Tabletop. <coughs> Please congratulate and your runner-up this evening, David Clem. Now the winner of the Table Topics Contest and your representative at the Central Division Contest 24th of October, please congratulate Raymond Knock. Yeah, yeah. She said, if you want to go to a contest, talk about me. <laughs> <laughs>